I'm going to show you one of the easiest drills you'll probably ever do to improve the mobility of your hips. The fitness industry is full of all these different types of exercises that are designed to improve hip mobility, but ultimately are really complicated or complex, or they're just uncomfortable and some people aren't ready for them immediately. So what do we do for people that just either don't want to do that or need something that's easier? Usually these drills are designed to improve either hip internal or external rotation. Now, I'm going to show you how you can get both usually in one exercise and how you can modify it for better results. This is an exercise that can help you restore both, but it is especially focused on the internal rotation side of things. This is an exercise taken directly out of the first phase of my beginner body restoration program. And this program is, as the name suggests, designed for people who are looking to get the ball rolling with getting their body to feel better, but don't wanna do a whole bunch of crazy complex exercises to do that. So if you wanna learn more, I will link it down below in the description. Without further ado, let's talk about the exercise exercise and what we're going to be doing here. What we're going to be doing is laying on our side in a 90-90 position with a foam roller in between our knees. Now all we're going to be doing is gently oscillating that top hip forward, rolling that knee forward just a little bit very slowly until we feel our low back start to move. We want to stop before the low back starts to move because at that point we would just be moving through our lumbar spine and we would not be getting genuine rotation at our hip because what's happening is that as I'm pushing that top knee forward, I'm moving into more external rotation of that top leg. Now that means that the femur is moving more forward within the hip socket. On the bottom side right here, we're going to be driving the inverse, more internal rotation. So as we roll over that leg slowly, the femur is gonna be pushed back in the hip socket. Now, over time, we can start to increase the range of motion, but I don't wanna do that too much, too fast, too soon, because then you're just gonna move through your low back and promote a compensatory action to find that range of motion. So start slow and then build over time. Now. Let's show you how I'd walk this through and coach it in a live setting with Trevor. Make sure to test your internal and external rotation before so you know you're getting an objective change. Now this needs to be as chill as possible. So support your head like you're taking a nap and then the other shoulder is just hanging out. It's not dumped forward, it's just in line with the hip right there. And then all you're gonna do is very gently exhale through your mouth as you bring that top knee forward. But you're only gonna go to the point where you start to feel like your low back is about to move. Don't go to the point where it actually moves. Stop at that point and then come back very gently as you inhale through your nose. Exhale, go further, and then inhale, come back. Super chill, that's all it is. It should be all hip movement pretty much. Now, as a regression, if this is too much hip flexion, you can bring your knees down a little bit lower and you can do it in this position right here. Same thing applies though, just make sure your low back isn't moving. As a progression, you can get your feet on a wall, making sure that your feet are in line with your knees, which are in line with your hips. And then you'll do the same thing. So exhale out very gently, only go to the point where you feel like your low back is about to move, but don't go beyond that point where it actually moves and then inhale through your nose very gently and slowly back. Exhale forward very gently, inhale back. I recommend doing this for about two minutes on both sides, both in the morning and at night. And you can see how you feel afterwards. You should feel like you got a little bit more mobility in your hips, and this can open up some nice range of motion to help you feel better.